Hey everybody, how you doing? Merry Christmas. It is December 24th, Christmas Eve 2018. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I'm back at it. Uh, just a quick update. First of all, Metal Beard. My wife got him for me for Christmas. He will be the new mascot. Just like Wild Bill has Roscoe, I've got Metal Beard. Yay! So, yeah, I got a new gig. Things are looking up for this year. So there's a couple things we're going to do in this video real quick. Because, like I said, it is Christmas Eve. And I know not a lot of people are going to watch this right about now. But that's all right. So, let's start off with the haul. So, the haul for this week. And the last one for the year. Cool combi. We know what that is. And let me get something else before I get to the other ones. It's a small haul this year. At the end of the year. Finally found a 57 Chevy. Nothing special about it. It's the flames. I had, haven't seen one all year. Finally found one. There it goes. So this is definitely going to get repainted Mad Max style. This is going to look good. Then I did happen to find some 2019 releases. Um, so I don't know if anybody's seen them yet. This is the Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300. This looks like an aggressive beast. Definitely going to do some a tire swap on this. Um, it looks really good. I like it. It comes with two rear tires in the back. New for 2019. I highly recommend it. Throw on some weapons on here. This thing is going to look good. And it's got a good toolbox in the back. So a toolbox. And um, it looks like tank trays. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, it's supposed to be the ramps. Ramps for something. I don't know. But anyway. So yeah. So we got the Unimog. Then some interesting stuff. A new Batmobile, number two of five, DC, 2019. This Batmobile, I'm not familiar with. I don't know if what game it's from. I do like the color scheme on it. It looks different. <clears throat> um, let me see. What does it say up here? It doesn't say much about this. It doesn't say where it comes from. Help Batman fight crime. Protect Gotham City in these... Batmobile inspired vehicles. So I guess these are new Batmobile designs. I'm not too, like I said, I'm not familiar with it. It looks really cool. I like it. Um, the window is that deep red plastic. Yeah, you can't tell. It looks black, but it is a very deep red. It looks interesting. It doesn't have the little silver thing like it does right here. It's not painted silver. Not expecting it to be. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to repaint this or not. <clears throat> a tire swap. Mm, I'm going to have to check around and see what I could find that looks good with this. Now my absolute favorite that I'm not going to gas land up. I'm probably not even going to open it. New for 2019. 49 Volkswagen Beetle pickup. Again, this is... They, they got the blue going on there, but this looks really nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... I'm not sure if this is a Spectra color on there, but, and I know it's not picking it up on here, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to open this. Well, you can kind of see it right here on the fender well, that light silver highlight there, that's actually the paint job. So I'm not sure if the paint went on quite properly, because you can also see it right here on the hood. That's not light reflecting, well, it is light reflecting off of it, but that's actually that light, and it's it's mirrored on the other side. Same thing. The headlights actually have nice campos on there. Tempos. I should say tempos. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's got the little lines in there. I wish it would focus a little bit better, but you know, it is what it is. There you go. Now you can see this headlights look really nice on there. Um, sales service fabrication. Uh, since 1968, Hot Wheels Tire Shop, El Segundo, California. Really nice. Like I said, this one, I'm not going to open up until I find another one. Um, it does not have the rear view mirror. As you would expect, most of them don't. I'm not sure. I think this is supposed to be like a service light, a blue service light on the top. <clears throat> um... This is a Ferdinand Porsche design with an air-cooled engine 
in the rear and a truck bed with side panels the Volkswagen Beetle pickup is just about the hardest working vehicle ever made can you spot the slotted cooling vents on either side of the bed along with a spare gas can in the back let's see can we see a spare gas can there is a spare gas can and there's your slotted vents right there so yeah that's gonna be pretty cool so that is the haul <clears throat> Now on to the big thing. Like it says in the description, there is, this is the last commission of the year. It may be the last commission I take. I'm not sure. Like I said, I got a new gig and things are working out. So this is for the client. The client's name is Scott. He's got access to a 3D printer. Doesn't have a lot of time. So this is just part of it. So we've got some terrain, some tires that he printed out. Looks really good. That's interesting. Now he's got numbers on here that he printed out. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it because he's pretty much given me free reign as to uh, what I can do as far as painting and assembling. Which is always nice. It's always good when a client trusts you enough to say, hey, you know, do, do what you do. He only had a few instructions. Okay, so that's, these, I don't know if they go on the gates or not. Um, the pr thing is, he only gave me enough parts for two gates. So, I'm going to have to work around that. <clears throat> but these, these I should have done pretty quick. Um, he did give me some materials for basing. Alright, so let's, uh, he gave me a lot of other stuff too. So he gave me some parts, obviously some plows. This is, this is all weapons, some of this is, uh... Multiples of the same thing. Some machine guns to put on there. These are really easy to take off. Uh, more machine guns. More of the same. Uh, let me see. There were some other things. Some oil droppers. Come on on the back. Uh, let me see. So let me show you something different. Um, got some of these spikes. To go on the front grill. little bit bigger machine guns those look cool some armor bits just to stick wherever some armor plating and there's some larger guns here I'm not I don't want to dump everything out because there's quite a bit of it a nice heavy machine gun right there, rotary cannon, minigun, whatever you want to call it. So that's just some of the stuff in there. I'm going to do a vlog on this. So that way you can see what goes on. Because there are two specific teams he wants to do. He gave me enough cars to do that. But I think I'm going to end up doing quite a few other things. I'm going to show you the cars in a second. <clears throat> this is the most impressive part. Gave me parts for a gate. So some of this I'm going to have to redo. This is going to be part of the gate. This is, you know, the bed, whatnot. And I believe one is longer than the other, so I believe this one's going to be the, uh, the starting gate. It's got some oil barrels on there. Let's put that there. Then you know the pattern right here. The arrows. So these arrows are going to go like right there. So this might not be big enough. You got to excuse the noise on the side. <clears throat> also, I, uh, my neighbors are having a birthday party. Give me another short one right here. Short truss. And here go the main ones. I think these will go right here on the side. It didn't necessarily give me these these flat pieces for this. They were just to use for extra bits, but they're going to work out really well for this. <clears throat> so we'll set that up there. And, you know, I think we're going to have to do two. Just because. So that there. And then these trusses... 
They're about the same size. So we'll we'll figure it out. We'll get it done. Give me plenty of those. And the banner for the gate. Now that's that's kinda I'm not sure this is wide enough. I'm not entirely sure. And he also printed out gas lands. Now I could just mount this like this. I don't think I want to though. I think I'm gonna actually cut get all these letters out of here. And I might do like a neon paint scheme on there to make them really bright. I got the neon colors there. So I should be able to do that. That shouldn't be a problem. And you know, I'm just doing just looking real quick. Because you see these have like pegs right here for other things to go into. But I got nothing to go into them. So maybe I'm thinking maybe let's go like that. <clears throat> there should be another one here. That's the truss right there. It's because I believe this is from Thingiverse. This particular gate. And this should all slot together like this. To make it actually longer. That's what I th think. I'm gonna look I gotta look it up. I'm gonna get with Scott again just to verify. Because right now there's only enough to do like two gates. I could theoretically theoretically make three because these are tall enough in order to do another one. And it would just be a matter of just tossing this on here and then taking some of those numbers. I'm throwing them on there. You got to forgive me, guys. It's been a long day. Um, I have to travel for work. I travel quite a distance, actually, for work now. Until my shop opens up locally. So, luckily, I'm home for the four days. For the holiday. And then I'll be back going full time back to videos sometime in February yeah that's it for the 3d parts so I've got some metal parts here that he also provided and I believe these are from Doc Future I'm not sure but I think they are some nice pipes small little engine you know some gear to put on the back Here's another engine, whoops, another small engine, more pipes, armor, this is an interesting front end plow. That would be cool to get to get printed, something like this, Let's see if I could get it to focus again, oh my god, there we go, so yeah that's an interesting plow, I do like that. That's cool. And unfortunately, I only got one of those. Then a big old chunk of metal here for a uh, for side armor. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I guess these are just random spiky bits. Spiky bits. And another plow right there. And another ram. So yeah, I got plenty of stuff here to work with. And that's just one small bag. Wait till I get to the other stuff. Because this is going to, again, because of my work schedule, um, it's going to take me a little bit of time to do this. But I am doing the vlog. I will be doing the vlog on this. Uh, and the reason why I said it might be the last commission I do. Um, I did one not too long ago. Actually, earlier this year. Got everything done. It was it was terrain for a company. I'm not gonna say who they are, but I did terrain for a company, so they could put on their website. Got it all done. Sent them text messages when it was completed. Mailed it out. Never heard anything again. So I don't know if they if it got lost in the mail or they just duck and covered and got out without telling me anything. I didn't get no feedback. I never got paid for it. 
uh, and just just to be straight clear with you, um, I I did tell them not to send me any type of payment until it was done because everything they sent me were B pulls. If you if you're familiar with that when it comes to casting a B pull, if you're not familiar, I should say a B pull is something that is basically crap, something that you can't sell because there is a flaw with it. It's not crap. It's not necessarily crap. But there's a flaw and it cannot be sold at regular price. So you do what is called a B pull sale or a flash sale. And that's what I asked them to send me. They sent them to me. I made it work. Painted everything. Never heard back from them once I sent it back out. So this is why I'm hesitant to do commissions again. Alright, so these are the other pieces I got. Um, again, I think these are all from Dark Future. Oh, we all know what that gun is. Yes. I have to do a little bit of bending to get it back in place. Okay. Yeah, so we got missiles. We got more long guns. Um, this looks... I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know, but it's interesting. We got some more pods there. Some ammo things here. Another armor plate. Missiles. More missiles. Four missiles. Um, some type of Miyazaki weapon. Some type of electrostatic gun, we'll call it. That's interesting. Two more mini guns that are metal. Machine guns. Your standard M60 machine guns. I don't know what this is. I really don't. It looks like some type of venting. I don't know. But it looks cool. They look even cooler painted. Hmm. This could also be an oil dropper. I don't know. This looks cool. I think, yeah, I think this will be a cool ass oil dropper. And then this auditing. I'm not sure what the heck it is. Maybe it's. Maybe it's. Is that the mount for this? For the spear gun? Well, there's no mounting piece for it, but this and maybe this <clears throat> metal beard is pleased. All right, so that's all that stuff over there. Like I said, guys, you gotta forgive me. It's been a long, long week. Actually, two weeks already. Um, you know, I haven't been on the doing anything with the channel for a minute. So yeah. Alright, so that I believe is it with those parts. Now you gotta see these cars that he sent me. And again, that's my neighbors next door. It's somebody's birthday. Doing doing it the way Mexicans do it over there. Fireworks, barbecue, which was really good by the way. So send me some cars. These are for his slime team, classic Mad Max. So, what he wants with slime is at least five cars to be green. Everything else, do whatever I want. Now, one of these, this one, here is a Dark Future car. It's definitely from Dark Future. So, yeah, this definitely needs to get Mad Maxed. Mad Max to hell. There's another Dark Future car in here. It's pretty much the same car. I've never seen Dark Future. But yeah, we got two of these. And he says something about a lavender card, but I do not see the color lavender. So yeah, so these are supposed to be his slime team. The majority of these are, are donor cars. So what we're going to do, definitely got to have these two men maxed. This is definitely got to get man maxed. So we're going to do a slime team of about, we're going to do three of these, but wait, I'm going to use three of these for sure. We definitely want some Mad Max, so we're going to separate these. These are going to be Mad Max to hell, whatever team he wants to use them for. This is going to be slime. This, I'm not sure of, it's, it's interesting, it's different. This we could definitely make into slime. And I've got spare wheels from Ken's Chop Shop. That I'm going to go ahead and throw on there. I've got tons of extra wheels. This has always been interesting. Um, 
I've got one myself. This is the... What is this? What's the name of it? It doesn't say. It's made in Thailand. That's all we know. It was supposed to have like four wheels in the front. And in the back, total of eight wheels. Monster truck. This can definitely be used for something. Just got to make it more aggressive. More power. All right, so that's going to go over there. Let's throw these in here. And they're all going to get repainted. So what's the big deal if they get a little bit scratched up? All right, so this is going to be his Miyazaki team. You can definitely tell it's Miyazaki. <clears throat> so we know what that is. This is really cool. I really don't want to repaint it, but hey, this this is a really cool car. And just in case you're wondering, the Panzo GTR1 1997 is the copyright on there. This is really cool. I've not seen one of these. That's cool. And the Lotus Esprit. Uh, the Esprit S1. This you can find. I actually saw quite a few of these. But I've got a couple of them. So yeah, these are all screaming Miyazaki. Hot Wheels. I don't know. I think this was a... I think this was a McDonald's version. I don't know what car this is. Love those hubcaps. So I'm probably going to keep those hubcaps on there. I'm probably not going to do very many swaps on this. On these. Then of course the McLaren 720S. So that is a full Miyazaki team right there. It's going to get cleaned up, repainted, um, kind of shiny and new, shiny and chrome, but with a little bit of wearing on them. Not too much, just a little bit. Just a little bit of wearing. So they look like they've been in a few races, but they're very well maintained. All right, so we're going to toss those in there. And then we have some donor cards and donor parts. Oh, Metal Beard is getting upset because he's been put the wrong way. And there goes my neighbors again. Right, so here's some donor parts. For the most part, the the stuff in the um, not the Miyazaki, the um, slime team is donor parts. So here's some donor cars. Got that T Rex from Jurassic World. I already have an idea for this. The tractor, matchbox tractor, the Hailcat. Probably going to use these treads. Do something with the treads. Something different, something wild. Got two of these uh, F 150s, 97 F 150s. Two of those. Yeah, yeah. Then we have some Battletech Mech Warrior. I believe these are from Dark Age. I'm not too up to date on which system. Yeah, I think those are Dark Age. I think that's the symbol for Dark Age right there. Anyway, so this is the Joust tank. Marksman, and this is the Marksman tank. I'm going to be honest with you. I really hate to chop these up. I'm really, really hesitant. I really don't want to. Because just it's just a personal thing. And then this little car. Not much we could do with this little car other than make it into an RC bomb. So not much really has to do with it. It's just a little bit of repainting. And that's about it, really. Just repaint this. Then we have some spare parts over here. I can't tell you what arm this is from. Um, if you know, good on you. I was not very big into Mech Warrior clicks. And another arm. And another weapon attachment. I don't know where it went to. What it went to. I'm assuming it went to the same guy as this. So yeah. Uh, so this weapon. I mean. It's pretty self, self evident. Just chop off that piece right there. You can just add that right there. Boom. There goes your gun. Thinking I'll probably make this into a tread. So remove all that. Move this cab. Put this front end on here, add this to the back, move, change these sideways. This part, I'm not sure, because I can't remember if somebody has already modified one to make it able to attach to a rig. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, so yeah, that's going to be about it for me. Like I said, I will be doing a vlog on this. 
It's just going to take a little bit of time because of, because I am kind of out of town working, getting some training in. I'm going to see what happens. All right, guys. So have a safe and happy holiday. Don't drink and drive, especially tomorrow night, because you know there's idiots going to be on the road that are drunk trying to rush to get back home or get to home or get back to wherever they got to go. And then if you don't hear from me on New Year's, Happy New Year's. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be doing another video soon. I will be doing one next weekend for a very special project that, whoops, I hit the camera again. A very special project. My friend has enlisted my help. It is D&D related. It is not about playing the game at all. Damn, I keep hitting the thing. Oh, anyway, yeah, it's not about playing playing D and D. It is making. I'll just tell you, we we are making one of the rooms into his house, into the game room, the dungeon master's room. It's going to be insanely awesome. You know, I hope you you join join me for the build because we are repainting. I'm going to show you how to do some some quick tips on how to do a repaint. You know, I mean, you know, I'm sure you know how to paint a house. Don't get me wrong. But how to paint it to make it look like a dungeon. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So, yeah, have a safe and happy one. Thanks for, you know, shout out to Fred, uh, to my buddy Scott, my brother from another mother, Scott. Um, Todd. Man, Daniel. There, there's a lot of people I got to give shout outs to. I'll do that in another video, but it's been a hell of a year, guys, and y'all helped me get through it. Um, just, I really appreciate it. Things are looking up. Got a new gig. Hopefully this is it. This will work. Something to retire from. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a good one. Safe, happy holidays.